Mr. Heffern here and this is a uh, short video on graphing motion and using the equations of motion to uh, make graphs or to study graphs. Okay, so kinematics graphs, there are three main types of graphs used to depict motion of an object. We got our position time plots, velocity time plots, and acceleration time plots. The equation of uh, motion can be used, to, the equations of motion can be used to create plots or to do analysis of of motion plots. Okay, so um, sometimes people accidentally call position time plots, distance time plots, you really shouldn't do that. Okay, a position time plot. So here's an example. Jack and Jill are north of the well and then accelerate north for some time interval. Use the graph below to determine their positions, displacement, velocities, and acceleration. So as you can see in this graph, they're going to start off 10 meters north of the well. I'm assuming the well is at 0, 0, the reference point. Uh, and so uh, they're going to travel for 10 seconds, so, uh, they're gonna, and they're going to end up at 60 meters north of the well, according to this position time graph. And you can see it's curved because they're accelerating. Okay, so their initial position is right here at 10 meters. Their final position is at 60 meters. So with that, we can calculate their displacement. They're going to go from 10 to 50, 60. That's a 50 meter displacement. And it goes from 0 to 10 seconds. So we've got the time. Okay. So um, it's flat here. We got a no no velocity at this point to start off at rest, and then they're going to accelerate, get faster and faster. So now we have a non-zero slope. So it's a little steep line here. So it means they're not they're not at rest. They're not flat lined. And so, but we do know it's there. They are flat zero to start with. So we have an initial velocity of zero. It's another piece of information. Okay, so now uh, that we got the initial velocity, we got the time, and we got the displacement, we can solve for the acceleration. And so 50 equals 0 times 10, plus a times 10 squared over 2. What do we get? An acceleration of 1 meters per second squared, all based on what we can find out from the graph. Okay, so now that we got the acceleration, we can find the final velocity. So vf minus 0 equals 1 times 10. Final velocity is 10 meters per second. Okay, so now we know the whole story of Jack and Chill. They started 10 meters north of the well, accelerated north at 1 meters per second squared from rest. They accelerated for 10 seconds and ended up 50 meters north of where they started, at a position of 60 meters north of the well. They finished with a final velocity of 10 meters per second north. So we could draw a picture of this now based on the graph if you want it. Here we go. So I'm going to start off, here's the well. Uh, so if I rotated my compass, so north is on the right hand side here. So they start off here 10 meters from the well at 0 meters per second. They accelerate at 1 meters per second squared. And they do that for 10 seconds. And they end up displacing 50 meters and ending up 60 meters from the well. And now currently moving at 10 meters per second. So now we're going to, our next example will do the opposite. We'll start off with a picture and we will use the equations and make our graphs. So here we got a velocity time plot. Jack and Jill start at 10 meters south of the well this time. And they're going to be at rest for 5 seconds, just sitting there doing nothing. Then they're going to accelerate at 2 meters per second squared north for 4 seconds. Then they're going to maintain that velocity for 6 seconds. And then we're going to make a dt plot, dt plot, and an at plot for the story. Okay, so whenever you get a word problem, you should always make a diagram like this to start off to visualize it to help you figure out what to do. It's also a part of your communication marks. Okay, so for the first part, it says they're going to be 10 meters south of the well, and they're going to sit there for 5 seconds. So uh, if here's 0, negative 10 would be 10 to the south, and so we got a flat line just sitting there doing nothing for 5 seconds. And their velocity is zero for the five second interval. And they're not accelerating for the five second interval. So here we got our graphs so far. Okay, so now uh, for the second part of the trip, we know they're going to accelerate at two meters per second north, two meters per second squared north for four seconds. And so we're going to use our equations of motion to figure out what our final velocity, displacement, and final position are. So first we're going to get the displacement. So we got uh, displacement is 0, our initial velocity, times 4. 
acceleration, 2 times our um, time squared, 4 squared over 2. So they're going to displace 16 meters to the north. So they're going to go from minus 10, and they're going to add the 16. If you go over here, we got our 16 meter displacement. We want to find out where we end up. We start off at minus 10. We're going to end up at 6 meters north of the well, so plus 6, 6 meters to the north. Now, what else do we know? Our final velocity, subtract our initial velocity of 0, is equal to the acceleration of 2 times 4. We're going to end up at 8 meters per second. So we're going to plug that into our graphs, and this is what it looks like. So I did this on a computer, so it's not perfect. It's got a few curves where I shouldn't have it, but say la vie. Uh, it's life. So here we go. Flat line acceleration is always a nice curve on a position time graph. The velocity time graph is flat and then it shoots up in a nice straight slope line to show the acceleration. And then finally on the acceleration graph, flat line and then poof, instantly right up there and then another flat line but at 2 meters per second squared. So unfortunately when you graph it on Excel like I did, now you're going to get these tiny little curves. Okay, so now we're finally on the third part of the trip. This is where they have a constant velocity of 8 meters per second north for 6 seconds. So we can figure out what that displacement is. So it's going to be uh, 48 meters, 8 times 6, 48. So uh, our displacement is 48 meters. They started off 6 meters to the north. Okay, so when we rearrange this, our final position is 54 meters. And the whole time they've been maintaining the same speed of 8 meters per second. So, 8 meters per second okay, for that time interval. So, we'll stay at 8 meters per second. There's no acceleration because we're at a constant velocity. And uh, now the curving stops because we're moving at a constant velocity. So, we have a straight, a straight sloped line for constant velocity. Okay, so in summary, kinematic graphs include position time plots, velocity time plots, and acceleration time plots. Motion graphs can be used to tell a story. Like pictures, a good motion plot is worth a thousand words. And the equations of motion work in unison with the different plots we can use for describing motion. And I hope this helps. I know this is one of the more challenging aspects of kinematics. So good luck. And if you need any questions, please see me, by the way.